Okay, YouTubers, I'm working on a 4.0 Jeep and uh, just finished getting the intake manifold off. I've watched several videos where people take everything off except for the kitchen sink. It's just crazy, and I really don't feel that's necessary when you're going to pull the head. Um, if you're not replacing the intake, you're just doing the gaskets, uh, putting lifters in like I'm doing. Um, I just uh, don't see any need unless you're going to be messing with changing a manifold if you're just doing the gasket or lifters or pulling the head off which I think I'm just going to go ahead and send this head to the shop and double check it or I might check it and make sure it's true here. Anytime, just a little tidbit of information, anytime you have a long head like this always check it when you take it off. Make sure that it's not warped because with that long head, it will warp a little bit. They get a little wonky after a bunch of miles. But this focuses on taking this intake manifold off. The bolts that are hard to get to are underneath. This one right here, um, I, could, I think it was that one right there. I saw that. I thought there was only like, uh, I'm going to double check, but I think there was four. I, I thought there was just two. Um, which would have been this one, and this one was the one I took off. Or it might have been this one and the one back here. I took those two off, and then I found this one back in here. I'm like, oh shit, there's, there's a third one there. And then the fourth one's up here, and you can't see it because of the motor mount, so I had to get out a little snake camera and put it right down, right down into here. A little snake camera, and I saw what I was looking for, and then I got my, uh, got my ex uh, extension and ratchet down in there and got it loose uh, everything else was just on top but those four on the bottom are really hard to get to uh, the three back in here I got to uh, from underneath just make sure you got your little magnet because it, they're gonna drop and they're gonna fall but this guy right here was the last holdout I just pried a little bit on the intake and I was like I still got a bolt here you know just got to be real careful so I got down in here with that snake camera, found this, and pulled it out, and then just move it away. There's no need to pull the rail. Hell, I didn't even have to pull the fuel line. It's still all hooked up. The vacuum for the brakes is still there. I'm just going to put like a you know a block of wood back here just to kind of hold it away while I take the exhaust manifold off, and then slide the exhaust manifold away because the the bolts on the header on the flange down below here. They're right there at the catalytic converters. You know damn good and well they've been plenty hot. And you're probably going to break one taking it off. So you might as well just leave it alone. Take this, take this exhaust manifold and just shove it away from the head. And then pull the head up and out of the way. Clean everything off and take care of that. Leave all this shit hooked up. The only thing you got to do is disconnect the battery. It's, you know, this really ain't rocket science. You don't have to take all this mess off. There's no need to do that. Unless you're changing the intake, a lot of people do, put a performance header on, yeah, that's a different story. But we're just taking the head off, so let's not go to any ex extensive circumstances. Let's just do the basics, take the minimal amount of bolts out of this thing, and get the head up and out of there so we can focus on the head. We don't need to pull any of this out of the engine bay. I hope this video helps, because there's not a whole lot out there on a 4.0 Jeep doing what I'm doing here. They just usually show you after it's all done. But, yeah, there's bolts underneath. Focus on that. Get those bolts out before you go crazy with anything else. Have a good one.